Hi there, welcome to the Year in Review here at the Bob and Tom Show. I'm Jess Galsman. And I'm Grace Yinger, and we are here to show you some of our favorite clips from the show this year, including one of our favorites, Mr. Tom Griswold. He's got a very interesting mind, and we like to see it on and off the air. So, check it out. Oh boy, I love it so much. That's why I hated the phony ending of that stupid Florida Project movie. Fraud, fake. <clears throat> it potentially was a fantasy in her head. Oh, okay. Oh, a beautiful Sorry. ending that had me in tears. <laughs> had me in tears was the crappy popcorn at that time. Oh, theater. my God. <laughs> and now we get to the crux of the issue. Does anything the make Tom happy? <laughs> anything. Yes, the, good, yeah. the popcorn was good where we went on Sunday. That the misery day. of others. That usually pleases Does him. Does it? Uh, yeah. yeah. I did, you didn't have any of that popcorn. No, I can't. I'm, I'm off popcorn right now. Remember, his disease has some sort of weird disease. Oh, diverticulitis. Yeah, yeah, my yes. diverticula is torn. You can't go, you can't go 30 <laughs> feet underwater, stuff like that. Okay, okay, <laughs> get the bends. I'm sorry, I, wouldn't, I shouldn't have eaten the popcorn in front of No, right, no, by all right means. in front of him. That doesn't bother did. me. By the way, do you, do you stop eating popcorn during the quiet parts of a film? Is that yes, I, I, yes, yes I do. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. Sorry. No, no, it was fine. Honestly, <laughs> honestly <laughs> act like he's not listening. How many times did he talk during the movie? Just only the once. Once. Just once. How many didn't times, say a word. How many times I, I did just, he eat loudly? At the beginning of the movie, at the uh -huh. beginning of this Churchill movie, in the beginning, they really are turning him into Mr. Magoo. It's a little over the top. I mean, I'm sure the guy was kind of a character, but I was just waiting for the you know, Asian houseboy to come in. Oh. Hello, Mr. Magoo. Oh, God. Yeah, they've done it. It's, oh, boy. It's, are you going to see it, Christy? Yes, I'm going today. So you chew your popcorn loudly is what I'm hearing. <laughs> I've been told. <laughs> <laughs> May have sounded like a robot walking on glass. <laughs> I've said it before. I'll say it again. Tom eats like he's in prison. Yep. <laughs> he only has 10 minutes to eat, chow, and back to the cell. Yes, when Kelly and I go to the movies, I've got to be very I try to eat during the previews when all the explosions are happening. <laughs> yes. Okay. Sorry. That makes sense. I bet you've been told, Thomas, you will eat during the loud preview. There Once the movie a, starts, you stop eating. There may have been a yeah. conversation. I, I, don't, I, don't talk to you, I don't even talk to her much. Every once in a while, I will say something. At the movies or in general? <laughs> At the movies. It, it, it didn't sound like it was. No, in general, no. In I, everyday life. No, I, I'm allowed to speak. Uh, you talk to uh, her or at her? You have no, a no. word limit, don't you? She goes, you've used 900 of your words. <laughs> <laughs> you only have 10 more. She, she, she does use the phrase, use your words all the time to the girls. Though She'll say, you know, Finn, mm -hmm. look, 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 whatever person is, look her in the eyes and use your words, which is a good thing to do. Dude, Finn is so good at it, too. But it's she's imp it's every impressive. Every once in a while, she'll look at me and she'll go, Use your words, you idiot. <laughs> Stop now, you. where did she get the phrase, you idiot? Where do you think she got that? Sorry, I meant to say that occasionally. Um, isn't it great to not know anything about money? Remember those yes. Days? Yes. When you were a kid? Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's, that's great. Last night I was uh, online trying to buy a book. For my little girl, it's like the easiest thing to do in the nope, world. No, it's not. One, he one, made, nope. he made one it sound button. like he had to go train with a, a marine drill sergeant. Yeah, no, it's an out of print children's book. Okay, uh, right. of course it is. Was it printed in 1948? No, it's a, it's a Sesame Street book. It's this? called Hello Dare. No, it's <laughs> written by Hello Dare, Lil, Lil Murray Allen, oh, or whatever his God. name is, Marty. Marty. Yeah. Yeah. What was the Marty. name of the book? You know it, what would be easiest is just call the person who wrote the book and have them. <laughs> you'd love that. That that'd be complicated. Dial the phone and go. Hello there. Uh -huh. No, Give it's me, this book. Uh, Betty Lou from Sesame Street becomes wants to become president. Oh, she's getting oh, out. right? She is getting out tonight. Yeah, tonight, right. yeah. Out, it's yeah. great, but I can't find it anymore. Huh? And it's it's a, a, a Betty Lou. She sees the. Uh, I bet you have it in your basement. Uh -huh. She she sees the the presidential limousine and it's all it's a, it's a great thing. It's about empowering you know women and telling girls they can be president. And, sure. Uh, so I'm trying to find this on you know the internet. And What's the name of the book? I think it's called I Want to Be President or something, but it's Betty Lou. Oh, she's pink. So in any event, I'm trying to do this, and, and of course, when you go on the internet, it starts telling you things you've recently purchased. Yeah. And the next thing I know, my little girl comes up to help me find the book, and all of a sudden, we're trying to buy it. A tent, <laughs> a, little, a tent from some TV show, and they've got two of them. I can oh. get it for you right now. I can get it to you right now. How much? Um, you can them? see what an ordeal this was. Uh, yeah, yeah I, it was. But I was trying to teach her about money because they had these two tents. 
I can get it in paperback for three forty nine or hardcover from two dollars. Yeah. I want to be president. Sesame Street. Yeah. That's it. I need that. Kindle yeah. edition. Uh, no, 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 not no, no, no. I've got a hard hardcover, hardcover right here for five ninety nine. Only yeah. one left. So the larger still. point Good is all of a sudden I'm trying to the teach. The larger it. point is you yeah. can't run a computer. <laughs> one <laughs> click. It took point. one click to, for me to get that. Well, I was sidetracked trying to buy this tent. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And the one tent, the one kid's tent's like twenty three bucks, and the other is three hundred, and they're almost exactly the same. I'm trying to explain to her. We're gonna get. We're gonna get this tent. <laughs> trying to buy this book. Uh, oh. A scientist accused of attempted murder in Antart in Antarctica <laughs> for stabbing his colleague because quote he was fed up with the man telling him the endings of books. <laughs> oh, this, I, are I, you I, I are you this. hearing this? I totally get this. We are so close to this. <laughs> Scientific. And everybody's got a motive. Scientific engineer Sergei Savitsky, 55, yeah. became enraged and stabbed welder Olg Belagruvs, 52, with a kitchen knife. It is believed to be the first time a man has been charged with attempted murder in Antarctica. Did he kill him or not? He, no, attempted murder. Oh. That means he lived. Yeah. The man had previously spent four harsh years at Russia's isolated Bellingshausen Station, King George Island, part of the South Shetland Island groups. Russian investigators are probing a version of events which both men became avid readers to pass the lonely hours in the remote facility. Sure, those Shetland Islands. There's but yeah. ponies everywhere. <laughs> has become frozen, in frozen ponies. Frozen. Yeah, yeah, they don't like had become enraged <laughs> because Belagovs kept telling his colleague the ending of books before he read them. Oh man. How these guys didn't kill each other earlier? The though, wounded yeah. man was uh, evacuated to Chile with a knife now, injury to the chest. Are there any women down there? Or? I doubt that there are. So just these two guys by themselves? I don't know how many. I, there must be more than just two guys. That's one thing I don't get. Did you see the thing about that guy that tried to walk to Antarctica, to the North Pole or whatever it was? And Is he dead? He didn't make it. What? what, what, what? <laughs> wow. Thanks, thanks for sharing that story this guy with was us. Time. I mean, there's a, a lot of stuff I don't get, but I really don't get that. Climbing, you know, climbing a mountain, okay, but it's towing a sled to the North Pole and there's already a, a, a station there with a bunch of people. Yeah, what are you hey, doing? Take a copter, okay? <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't get it, but uh, he didn't make it. This hey. guy did make it. He had, okay. a, he had a stab wound to the heart, but he's gonna be. it looks like he's going to be okay. That'd be okay. funny if after he got stabbed, he's like, this is just like... The end of... The end of... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Stephen King, <laughs> the stab! <laughs> I don't know if you saw this, but over the weekend in Portland, Oregon, hundreds of witches traveled six miles on paddle boards. <laughs> a floating coven went along the Willamette River, which divides the city of Portland. There was a method to the madness. Apparently, participants had donated packages of socks, underwear, and T-shirts to a local nonprofit before they begin paddling. Cool. Pretty cute. Are they... See how they're all dressed as witches? They're all in the oh, hats. So it looks and... like the housewives of New York. <laughs> <laughs> You've just been Griswold. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, Housewives of New York. <laughs> You've just been Griswold. <laughs> my other deal with it. <laughs> my other paddleboard. Click. My other paddleboard is a broomstick. Yeah. So they're floating down the river. That's kind of sweet. Mm -hmm. Okay. The Long Island town of Huntington, New York, has decided to change its name. It looks like a vertical mustache when you hold it. Yeah. Straight up, okay. but if you do it the other way. <laughs> No. No, sideways. Sideways, yeah. like a mustache. You don't see the mustache? No, the, you can't see the mustache. Are you dim? <laughs> what are you doing? You mean like this? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, or there you, you even go. the other way. Yeah. That's a yeah. look right there. <laughs> How does it smell? Yeah, try it upside down. Oh. How does it smell, Sadie asks, <laughs> suggesting that is not a new toy. It's very new. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> dishonest John. <laughs> this is r right out of the box, by which I mean. <laughs> I don't care what they do, they can do whatever they want. As long as they leave my daughter alone, yeah. everything's fine. There we go. I'm wow. serious, you know, and, and you know, with the holidays coming, it's the greatest thing in the world, though, because Christmas with kids to me mm -hmm. is, it, you know, and I tell my boys, I say, you know, Santa lives in the North Pole, and uh, he has a bunch of elves going to make your toys. And uh, a, a couple of stories that Chick missed. Um, one of them I, I was disputing, and I, I'll, maybe I'll have you weigh in on this. It's one of these survey stories. Love them. Uh, the survey. When so this is one of those cases, Chick. When presented with the facts, yeah, yeah. Tom says no, no. No, that didn't happen. Right. This, this is impossible. These aren't necessarily facts. Eli Whitney, <laughs> Eli Whitney worked all night on the cotton gin, comes up 
<laughs> tells Tom about it. Tom says, I, I, I'm skeptical. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Completely false. No, this is a, a story Eli about... Eli himself! A story about Americans in a survey um, having intimate relations oh, yeah. on Christmas. And, Most uh, romantic night of the year, he says. Uh, it's not? He well, says. Well, of course it is. Thank you. <laughs> the New York Post reports half of Americans admit they're more frisky during the holidays. Okay, I'll buy that. There's a lot of downtime, a lot of relaxing, a lot of drinking, sure. However, this survey says three of four adult Americans polled have the most intimate of relations on Christmas Day. Yes. On Christmas Day, Christmas Day night, or Christmas Day? This is Christmas Day. I think Christmas yeah, Day starts sense. at 12.01. Yeah. Right? right? Right after midnight. That's sure, Christmas yeah, this goes Day. from 12 to, this goes yeah. from midnight to midnight. Right. We'll so, survey this room. How many are likely in this, there are how many people in this room? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm looking around this room, I'm thinking... Maybe two might get lucky on Christmas. So. Yeah, in this that. case, I, it won't be me. I'll be staying with, at my brother's with a lot of family there. I'm well, not, gonna, I'm not make, going to invite. That's going to make it <laughs> one of my many tarts <laughs> over. For, uh... yeah, I'll be in. I don't, don't they typically work on Christmas? <laughs> I do adore the word convenience. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't they usually take the evening off on Christmas? Eve? Yeah, I'm out that night too because I'll be in Charleston with family. But... Okay, so as the look around the room. There's four of us left. Think, You'll think, be in. I think Jackson. I'll be okay. You're, you're in. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You won't there, because there, you'll be one. too busy. You'll be too busy. I can't imagine. <laughs> All right, uh, six to, six fifty to six fifty two. We have intercourse. And now. isn't that the saddest part? Yeah. He won't. He could. <laughs> oh, but, yeah. he's, but he's not going. She's to. Yeah. dying for it. <laughs> Most romantic. The lights are all on. Tommy, it's Christmas. You could buy us oh, a yeah, nice yeah, lingerie. I have to call uh, Godwin about something. And then, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, Pat's got. Right I'm not sure what state he's in, but Pat has a flat tire. Uh, <laughs> I'll be right with you. You should just haul a spare wheels. <laughs> you in should a trailer. Just, you should have a NASCAR team follow you around. <laughs> that would be good. Did you get a new tire yesterday? I did not. Oh, jeez. So you got a plug? You got the plug? You got to pull the, put the plug in? I have a, a big old spare on there. Okay. Isn't it the wrong size? Were you telling me? It's slightly smaller than <laughs> okay. the other tires. <laughs> you shouldn't be Oh, the other tires car. love that. <laughs> <laughs> the whole car loves that, Josh. Uh, let's wear We're this going one. going to the right now. <laughs> <laughs> Those spare tires are like lazy eyes for tires, aren't they? Just like, <laughs> <laughs> Don't you love when you get, a, you get a rental car and you take your hand off the wheel and all of a sudden it starts driving? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> this baby's out of alignment. Uh, uh, so you haven't, had a, you haven't had a deer this year, have you? Have you? No. Well, there you go. Two back in 2016. Well, now you've jinxed that. Uh, Maybe today. I can't wait till tomorrow's show when he'll be back and he hit a deer. Uh -huh. I have seen lots of dead deer on the highway, though. It's a rough year yeah, for them. Yeah, they're everywhere. I went to Easter brunch yesterday at a restaurant, and the guy that was um, hosting was dressed in a chicken suit. <laughs> See? Oh, That's yeah. the kind chicken. of thing we need yeah. more. It was hysterical. Get in the suit, Mike. He goes, oh. <laughs> he had on these big chicken feet, and he's walking. Away. I had a... Uh, <laughs> I, I had a, a Christmas story moment yesterday. More bread? Uh -huh. oh, went to go to have some lunch. <laughs> what forgot, happened? I forgot. I had a Christmas story uh. moment. Oh, did you go by yourself for lunch? No, no. I, I, of course not. I, uh, no, all those lunchgoers he pays. Yeah, I was going to say, who'd met you recruit? Up, I met Every... up with a friend of mine. We went to lunch, and right. got, we got there. What do you mean? It's a two-hour wait. Wait a minute. Yeah, it's Easter you for you. You called a friend of yours. <laughs> on Easter Sunday. Family time, probably close close to Christmas or Thanksgiving. My, people, my, family. All my family's out of town. Right. Hmm. What about this person's? Hmm. It was Godwin. I knew it. I was going to say that. <laughs> I, I knew it. I was available. I didn't know you were around. I could. I would have called you. So we go to we go to lunch at every place. There's a, the first two places. Well, it's because it was Easter. Two hour wait. Yeah. Yeah. So we went to a Mexican place and <laughs> had a nice and a nice lunch. Yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> Not that I don't know. I don't know why, but that was the only place there was you know, no line. I see a, a, a lunch with you and Godwin. You talking a lot. Him <laughs> endlessly agreeing. Uh -huh. I just I. I don't know if that's good for him. That was I weird. Don't. I looked across the table and noticed he was wearing one of my old shirts. Uh, <laughs> of course he was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not kidding. Very yeah. good. Yeah, I said that yesterday. Nobody even gave I, a... Uh, nope, didn't care. Gave a... No, nobody. Not okay. Nope, person. ignored it. Just flat out ignored it. Yep, that's uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Go fishing. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I'm Is your surprised. car running? I'm surprised <laughs> we answered you this time. <laughs> what, what Christy means is go fish yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jock's going. Jock, did I say that? Yep, Jocko's <laughs> going to fish with his brothers, Jugdish, Jamal, and uh, Jafir. Jock is the name of my aunt's old poodle. 
Is I it? Just spit all what, over the what, card. I was right. What a great story, Jock and Pierre. Jock and Pierre. Mm-hmm. See, you know what's great about that story? Nothing. It's over. I haven't heard it before. <laughs> <laughs> How are Jock and Pierre? They're dead. Well, the Jock and Pierre are uh, <laughs> dead or in hell. Oh, like you're not. Where gonna, are they buried? In the backyard. You're not going to believe me when I tell you oh, this. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, Stuffed? I, no, but I'm not. But um, my, my aunt Mark, I swear to God, I had believe this. I believe full size statues yeah. made of them. <laughs> oh wow! I, were I they see. toy poodles or standard? Oh, no, 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 they were standard poodles. Let she me, had life size. statues? Yes, absolutely. Let me tell you how much money a Griswold family had. <laughs> Griswold family have statue, pet statue money. <laughs> mm-hmm. Now, near the end, would she call them and then get mad that they wouldn't come to her? <laughs> That's right. Your dog oh, die, God. your dog just die. Oh, Griswold he's... family built statues. Who's this now? <laughs> it's a tribute to Richard Pryor and Mudbone. I, I hardly ever do it. It's normally my Michael Irvin voice. It. It's usually it's usually six vodkas in before you get that. <laughs> Although that was very good for being sober. I used to be somebody. Uh, we have a... <laughs> <laughs> what do you got over there? You got any news? What do you got? I have all kinds of How about of that lady who tried to get there. off the plane? She didn't want to stay for the full ride. Yeah, that's... Oh, that's, in mid-flight? Yeah. yeah. We were talking about this yesterday. It just seems that there are more and more random things on planes. The weird one yesterday was there's... And the thing is with everybody that ha- is carrying a cell phone with a camera... Right. Yesterday there was a guy who gets on a plane, takes his clothes off, puts the seat back which is, by the way, the various offenses, that's the one that bothers me the most, that he puts his seat back. <laughs> and then he begins to self-pleasure. Yeah. Yep. On the plane. Yeah. It's uh, just getting... And, then and it wasn't even going down. If the plane were going down, I could kind of see that... Hey. You mean going down in a oh, crash like landing situation? Oh, like it was his last year, yeah. No, I meant the plane was going down on somebody, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, if the plane, no, the plane was going, going down, down to land. Ride would be so, on the so you're saying, you're saying a forced landing. <laughs> so did your kids make um, Kelly breakfast in bed yesterday for Mother's Day? <laughs> no. Oh, oh. no, we had a really good day, though. I'm just exhausted. Oh, my well, God. sure. How many mothers did Play you out. have to... Uh... <laughs> good point. <laughs> did you have to visit with... Fair you know point. What? You know what? I can't Funny. argue. Yes. I fair like point. this Josh yes. now. <laughs> I I'm really not, I'm not feeling ornery. Do you remember that <laughs> remember that really cool surprise I had for Josh? <laughs> yeah. I don't have to bring it here. I'll no. say, uh, it, yeah, I, I can I can just keep it at my place. There are a couple other things you could I had a yeah, lovely, uh, I had too. a lovely Mother's Day with the uh, mother and uh, <laughs> child that's speaking to me. So I, uh, oh, I'm right nice. there with you, Tom. So there you go. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. uh, that's real life, kids. Good luck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's one of those weekends where. Uh... I felt like Norm at Cheers when I walked into Home Depot <laughs> for the fourth time. Hi, no, no, I'm still trying to inflate the pool. Thanks for having me over. Uh, Couldn't inflate the pool. A couple of those little above ground pools. Oh yeah, those inflated. Are, they're, yeah. But they're really, they're really kind of too big, but they're wonderful. Yeah, but yeah. the thing you've got to have some kind of. Uh, fortunately, this guy yeah, figured uh, out what, air compressor. Right. Well, I've got an air compressor, but you have to have the right nipple on the thing, and oh, yeah. the, right. the one that it comes with won't work, and the holes this big, and the thing is about. 40 sizes too small, so... Have you had that issue before? <laughs> Josh is on fire today! Not Tom, you know that. Uh, you know something? I could reference the previous thing. And, yes. No, uh, in any event, yeah, my, my driveway's blocked by a uh, little blow-up pool. Oh, well, that's true. D- D- so was this guy leaving a bar or something? Some depth to that. I don't know where he was or what he was doing. That's all that's I have. That's strange. That's all the information How I would have. that work if you were in a bar and some guy said to you, Christy, hey, you want to go home with me? <laughs> uh, I don't have a car. <laughs> nah, that wouldn't work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why he was probably On alone. a horse, yeah. Okay, next. French cut. <laughs> <custom. laughs> He's right. asking the questions. <laughs> He's stretching it out. <laughs> next! <Yeah. laughs> French, cust- French customs <laughs> officers found a valuable stolen Edward Degas painting on a bus. This story is kind of cool, actually. Well, I'll let you be the judge. Uh, the Catholic Church has suspended a priest in Kenya for wrapping his sermons. Uh, now, if I think this is unfair. because Following his the traditional mass, yeah. this uh, priest whose name is Father Ogalo, they, mm-hmm. don't give a, they don't give a first name, he will change out of his vestments... And he will rap to the congregation. This is at a place called St. Monica Catholic Church. 
The priest said he uses hip hop to quote bring the youth closer to the church. I agree make, with this. This makes There's sense. Nothing wrong with uh, yes. this. Yeah. What's going on here? But Bishop Philip Agnolo, the head of the county Yolo! diocese, <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> uh, Marco Polo. No, oh. Yolo. You only live once. Oh, okay, so oh, I'm sorry. Um, he told CNN that Father Ogala was suspended from leading prayers for a year as rap music is not allowed in preaching. Ah, what? That's a, I mean, well, this, that's not in the Bible. I don't think it yeah, was in the Bible. Yeah, that's not in the Bible. That can't be in the Bible. They didn't have rap during those yeah. days. Words, words, words. Yeah, but I mean, didn't you see Whoopi Goldberg and Sister Act? Right. Oh. I'm sure there were people out there complaining that when that came out. That was more... Are these the ones that still Motown wanna... instead of rapping, wasn't it? Well, yeah, but it's still but the, I mean, same, it's the same idea of, of contemporizing the, the language. And uh, when do you know what his nickname is? Did you see this? Who oh, the oh, father? Oh. He's no. got a rapper name. Oh god! I, oh, what is it? Oh, <laughs> what is it? Is it like is it like Ghostface Killer <laughs> or something? Uh, no, it was Sweet Paul. Oh, I like it. Sweet yeah. Paul. Sweet Paul. Sweet Sweet Paul. This guy's yeah. just having a this good time. A... He's trying to attract yeah. younger. No, there's no issue here. He what? says, young people call me Sweet Paul because I rap sweet. Oh, this is... I mean, it was a little weird when he would finish every sermon with... Uh... <laughs> uh, careful. Mm. See. No, no, don't be careful. Peace Just... out, be with you. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Peace uh, out also with... The priest uh, who was not... suspended last month now is a year to think about the seriousness of life as a clergyman. Sit down, stand up, repeat it twice. Open your mouth. Here comes Christ. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, you know, I love Plumsy. my dad. I wonder if you were going through a spasm <laughs> or what you, what you were doing. Mad rapper Tom. I, I don't want to comment about, I just want to say there are a lot of things going on in the world and the church could really do some good by just saying, hey, whatever it takes to bring people back into and the And if family. I'm reading the story, this, right, this, this, this does was, not a, this seem was after the traditional right. church service. It was something extra. This okay. does not seem wrong to me. This would be like having a teen... You know, just like having teen night, which they do on Sunday nights. Yeah. Right. I don't understand. They're just trying to bring some relevancy. Woo, to, right. Yeah, this is what if, teen well, night. I got Woo. an idea. I've got, I've, I've got a great idea, a great solution to this. Take the old, old and the new and rap in Latin. Yeah, there you go. I mean, wouldn't that, that'd be, that'd be hard to do, wouldn't it? it would, you mean I like uh, salsa? Latin? Salsa? No, no, I don't you know. Like Gloria Stefan? No, actual Latin. <laughs> that rhythm's gonna get you. Coitus interruptus. <laughs> oh, well, I wouldn't have put that in there necessarily. Uh, I hope some the of the Pope only Latin I know. Before marriage. <laughs> e pluribus unum. I mean, you know, ex nihilo. I just, mm, no, but. Of, uh, <laughs> I really hope I, Bishop Mignolo looks at this because this I is. When I rap, I. Let yeah. Sweet Paul be Sweet Paul. Yeah. Uh, Frank Caliendo does a lot of great voices, which is absolutely amazing. And I was just kind of curious. I'm sure you get asked this all the time. It's a hack question. But do you do anything? Does, does your wife have one that she likes? You've got a beautiful wife. I've met her. Is there any impression that she ever goes, oh, come on and do that for me? No, she, she, she doesn't want to hear any of it. That's what I thought. She just wants the checks to cash. Uh -huh. That's really okay. about what it is. Do so you go home and do radio for Kelly? <laughs> yes, yes, I'll be does. Right. Yeah, yeah I absolutely does. <laughs> yeah, am I do guest today or my two daughters? Yes. Are, uh, Kelly, I will talk to you in a moment, but first, uh, do you have a weather forecast for me? Uh, <laughs> who, have you, who have you been talking to? Uh, if we can get to, if you would allow me to introduce everybody at the dinner table for <laughs> If we could get our meals uh, started. Before we serve the mashed potatoes, I'd like you to meet my son, Sam. This is his girlfriend, Pauline. I love when, when Tom uh, starts doing Tom. I know, it's the best. Yeah. See, it's you. You don't have to do... Oh, never mind. I'm going to say something filthy and stop everything. <clears throat> so I'd like Sorry. I'd uh, like to introduce everyone here. Uh, this is a Senora. This is uh, Kelly. This is... Uh, uh, senora. Oh, so you have a Senora at your house? Oh, of course. She's great. Oh, that's She's nice. The we... Uh, don't mind me. I'm just going in the wastebasket. Oh. <laughs> really? Ah, uh, no. It's never mind. It's just a sound effect. Uh, uh, now uh, coming thank up. You. Oh, thank, thank, thank you. Thank okay. you. No one believed that. Never mind. Uh, just, well, the hog's so giant. You know it would make that noise. <laughs> have you ever? It would have you ever urinated directions. in this room? In no. this room? Have you no. urinated in this room? Tom has. He wouldn't have asked if he had. <laughs> what am I, an animal? Oh, what'd you no. urinate into? No, I did not. I was just That's asking. nope, nope. No. Let me ask you this. No, there's not a bottle right. big enough me for this. me to... Do you urinate in the sink here or in the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> you piece of crap. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> no, I don't. Go, I don't go in the sink. What do you think? I have a stool? We wash our hands. <laughs> you, yes, I think. I think you just yes. laugh when you go in the sink. I'm just gonna wash his hands here. <laughs> Lob it over the. 
No, Never you mind. lob it. <laughs> yes, yes. You, <laughs> gotta, you hose right. down the faucets. <laughs> uh, coming up, uh, Josh, are you a uh, music in the bedroom kind of guy? No. Oh, that was no, a quick answer. That wasn't quiet, yeah, no, I don't. Uh, quiet as a church. No, I don't like it quiet, but I don't. Uh, I don't need uh, music or TV. Chatter. Or you like talk. You like to like a little. Sure. Bit yeah. Chatter and the and some of the natural noises are hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like music. For instance, different moods. For instance, now if she puts music on, I'm not going to say turn that off. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what I mean? But, <laughs> Whatever she wants. I'm right, not. Yeah. I, I'm not paying you for tunes. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Sadie. Because the only woman that would ever <laughs> sleep with me, I, I would have to pay for. Of course. Oh, yeah. I doubt that. Have to pay her, yeah. so, not at all. Yeah, big bucks. Possible too. for me to meet. I have sorry. A I woman person. and actually never yeah. be interested. Mm -hmm. if there Christy, a music uh, music lover there in the boudoir. I can't can't remember, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of 80s classics. <laughs> yeah, been that long. <laughs> <laughs> you put on the Psychedelic Furs album. Yeah. And, uh... yeah. That's right. Sorry. I love the Psychedelic uh, Furs. jokes there. <clears throat> you know, really. you saying sorry almost makes it worse. <laughs> <laughs> it really does. Okay. Now, uh, Dr. Sadie Allison is once again the proprietoress of, uh, of a place <laughs> called Tickle Kitty. And I have this... Uh, <laughs> it, sounds, it sounds like I'm about to fix a transmission. Do you have a stuff, wrench in there? Some of this stuff is pretty serious. Let's um, let's grab this one. Now, uh, I'll describe it, and then you tell me what it really is. Oh, it's, my. It, right. it appears to be made of glass. I'll hit the microphone with it. Oh. Yeah, and it, it's, it's, it's... Yep, sounds like Jeez. glass to me. <laughs> let, me try, let me try a different technique here. How about this? Don't oh, break Careful, yeah. careful. <laughs> I... I assume it shouldn't this is, break. Yeah, yeah. I oh, assume, okay. yeah. Really? I mean, if this thing broke, <laughs> that Tom, would be, trust me, that would be a problem. <laughs> well, it would be a problem for that all would. involved. I think. Yeah. This is um. Or somebody be really turned on by it's it. It's sort of in the shape of. Um, it's really pretty. Kind yeah, of a fa it? phallic thing, but it has sort of a. It twists to the west. Here, hold it up. About, <laughs> uh, Isn't that about, pretty? I would say about. It's gorgeous. No, 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 uh, Looks like blown glass. Ten degrees. It, well, it could be. <laughs> it it is, Christy. You you got it. This is blown glass. Okay, and it does have kind of a head on it. Um, <laughs> it looks like something. Uh, it looks like the Taj Mahal. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, and then and then it's got kind of a curving set of lines what's, going. Uh, Josh, all the way what's down the movie the where they find the Coke bottle and uh, that's what the, the way, gods must be crazy? Yeah, that's what Tom's holding. Like, what is right. this? I don't understand. <laughs> I love this the is, blue glass. Aborigines find a Coke bottle. They don't know what it is. Yeah, it's and it's but it's very artistic and it's got blue and uh, clear glass here. It, it, it this could be at a museum mm -hmm. and people would be walking up going, well it. Someone would say, oh, it looks like a snake emerging from the hole. Tom, I will give you my car if you put that in your mouth. <laughs> it hasn't been used. He will give you his car wow. if you put it in your mouth. That's a good dare and a good oh, oh. He's doing the old pretend. Oh, boy. <laughs> I have a car already. I don't need okay. one. 721 at Q95. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee has the forecast. Q95, Fox 59 weather, sunshine and 79 today. Cool overnight, clear skies 58. Spotty showers roll in Friday, high of 80. Currently clear skies 54. Thank you very much. Duke Tomato is our special guest. And uh, you can see him at the Tipton County Pork Festival coming up Friday, September 7th. All right, Duke. Uh, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. We are live in the Napa Auto Parts studios with some live music from Duke Tomato and the Power Trio. Let's find out who's in the room with us, shall we? This is Tom speaking. That would be Ace not speaking. That would be... Oh, he just, he just did. That's Chick McGee at the John Deere Sports Desk. Over there at the uh, Josh Arnold. Ten cents per text message. <laughs> desk. Sure. Is, that, is that how this works? Well, yeah, you, if you text us, I get 10 cents per text. What's that's, that number? That, that's false. 888-262-8661. We want to hear from him. He gets nothing. Uh, Christy Lee is right next to me in the Stripes. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Duke. That sounds very good. Oh, she's got Stripes. Stripes. Yeah, Duke stripes. is working on another uh, custom jingle for uh, one of our next announcements. I'm very excited about that. Thank you very much, fellas. It sounds good. Now, we have a lot to get to. These guys are going, we got up for this? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm fine. <laughs> you like directing them, telling them when to play, don't you? You point at them and they start playing. You point at them and they start playing. Well, they could just, I could just let them start playing at random. No, I'm just like, saying. Like, That'd be like exciting. Like you, think, you, think, you think that if I we point, like they're going to play Duke when I point play. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. 
<laughs> Don't you wish you had that in we, life? We like being here. Wouldn't that be fun, Duke? If you be able to point and you know get what? People just to... have like Duke and the guys follow you around. No, nope. and... a normal person's got to say no. They won't. They no, don't like this. Point at things and have it happen. So That's let's see. I go to Tom and I go, Tom. Uh, guess what? What? You and I, we just won a Publishers Clearinghouse. We are now millionaires. And I'm going to carry around a band with me. So, in fact, I've got them here with me now. So, since let's celebrate right now, shall we? Duke Hint. Uh, here we are in Starbucks. I brought my own band. <laughs> oh, no, Tom, Tom, Tom. What? what? I just found out your car has been stolen. Oh, wait a minute. Um, so I need. So then you point to the band and they play a, a sad nice, song. So okay, yeah. Duke, I need something yeah. kind of a little slower. My car's just been stolen, fellas. Wow. Oh, man. My right. car was stolen. <laughs> Wait a minute. That, I got my car stolen blue. That wasn't my car. That, now, what's this? That was Duke's car that was oh. stolen. <laughs> Tom, I just got a text message from uh, Anne Margaret. She says she wants to meet you. <laughs> Anne Margaret. Anne Margaret. Yeah. Up tempo, up tempo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, kind of fun, yeah. I'm with Tom. Oh, this is nice. I have a live band. Oh, yeah. Hi. You know something? I don't Hi, know what Anne it is. Margaret. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it feels like Christmas right now. I. I know. It's Christmas. So let's have sex. Ho, ho, ho. Every time you start playing that. Mary. It's Doesn't that feel Christmassy? You can see the snow falling on a beautiful oh. pine tree. It and really I hear does I hear Duke in my ear room. singing. Oh Napa. <laughs> Auto Park. That's that's coming up later, Duke. You just oh, Napa. They, they gotta rehearse. <laughs> I'm just going by what that, you told us. That, that's half <laughs> that an hour is... from now. But thanks very much. <laughs> Our friends at Napa appreciate that. Uh, Duke is uh, being documentarized. What's the word here, Josh? Docu sure, that he, documented and uh, via, uh, documented. That'd be much more film, elegant. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, in a documentary, of course. Best way to get documented. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're being handed papers to out okay. of the country. You know what? I don't know. I think you've had too much coffee already. I, I don't know what happened the... to you, but in the last half hour, you've become fun again. I, I, I like this very much. Well, um, I've been writing some alternate lyrics to one of Duke's songs without Duke's permission. Oh. So coming up, um, <laughs> we're going to be, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, disrespecting uh, Mr. Tomato. Um, Duke is actually one of my only friends, so <laughs> this may not be a really good idea. Uh, Duke Tomato is here with us. Now, Duke, um, I have uh, taken the liberty of um, rewriting some lyrics to no, one of your songs. No, no. Um, <laughs> now, but I, for, let me just say first. Can I see him? Can I, can I, I think there's a little, a little tweaking. Let me now, look at him first. First of all, this song is a song about, um, really, uh, from a big picture standpoint, it's about freedom and about doing whatever you want to do. In, in the world, and, and it's okay with you and me, right? Okay. What's the song called, Duke? What you do with your butt is your own business. <laughs> so, it's not like we're starting... And you like, rewrote it? Why? Mm. Oh. Just did a little adjusting here. I'm not sure when the, my part's going to fit in, Duke, so why don't you do I'll, a little I'll bit do a, and then, I'll do a verse then, and then call you can, on me. Then, yes, I will call on you. Okay. Ready, Joe? What you do with your butt, baby, it's your own business. <laughs> I don't need to know where it's been, what it's doing, where it's gonna go. You can stick it over here, stick it over there, be on the bottom or the top. It's your butt, do what you want, I won't tell you to stop. What you do with your butt, what you do with your butt, is your own business. What you do with your butt, what you do with your butt, is your own business. <laughs> Be with a woman, be with a man, be whatever you want to be. Take pictures of your rumpus, just don't send any to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that sounded like a song. Oh, no, News bulletin. Perhaps some time. consenting adult. If everyone goes home happy, that's a good end result. <laughs> what you do with your butt? What you do with your butt? It's your own business. Here we go. What you do with your butt? What you do with your butt? <laughs> don't make me have to say this twice. I don't give or need advice. Buttocks. Gluteus Maximus. Fanny. Derriere. <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, you can put your butt anywhere. As 
That's James Hill. <laughs> now, El Doom and Marguerite are a couple of my friends. <laughs> I believe they are romantic, but I don't know at which ends. <laughs> he was a she, she was a he, at least that's what I think. Her favorite color is blue, and his favorite color is pink. What you do with your butt? What you do with your butt? It's your own business. What you do with your butt? What you do with Margaret's butt? It's your own business. Booty, dairy, air, caboosage. I don't care about your butt usage. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Duke Tomato and the Power Trio. And what you do with your butt is about freedom. You can use any bathroom you want in this building. That's right. You might want That's not exactly what that's about. Well, there it is in a way. It's about uh, doing whatever you want. And you said you could put your butt anywhere. You would hate that. What? Well, if somebody put their butt on you, you would. Or in your area. Yeah. This is my singing uh, Christmas buck. Mm -hmm. uh, as you can see, it mounts on the wall. And you press this red button here, and see, I don't know if you'll be able to hear this, but uh, can you hear that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now watch his lips. The <laughs> lips. <laughs> it's uh, singing hilarious. Christmas Deer. <laughs> I don't care who you are. That's hilarious. <laughs> uh, well, uh, uh, Tom yeah. loves it. You look at how happy he is. <laughs> no, no, look at him. my favorite part is he's putting the mouth <laughs> to his ear to the microphone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, God yeah, knows, yeah. Not God the speaker. Knows, no, God knows where the sound's right. coming from. You're right. Oh, it's coming from the speaker in the back. Yeah, yeah. Not he put the lips but, to the microphone. <laughs> thinking that it's coming out of the. He, <laughs> he's a professional. You know, he has another tune here. Oh, Let's, here we go. Oh. oh, what is this one? Oh yeah! Oh, look at his lips move. <laughs> oh my God! This is the stupidest. Thing. Well, I bring this up because in the news, this is why my tax return is so hard to file. What do I put down as occupation? <laughs> Hey, thank you so much for watching this year in review. Be sure to check out our full playlist on YouTube. We have seven other videos for you to check out. Oh yeah, yeah. You gotta watch all eight year in reviews to feel like you know, you knew what happened in 2018. That's right. As we welcome in a very funny 2019. Looking forward to it. Oh yeah, absolutely. And be sure to go to bobandtom.com for more goodies, and as well as bobandtomstore.com if you didn't score some of those Christmas deals. Great shirts like this mm -hmm. at bobandtomstore.com. That's very right. Exciting. Have a good year, everybody. We'll miss you.